Hi, and welcome to another training tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today, we're going to be looking at the snipping tool and how useful that can be with making remote lessons. So the first thing to do is to find the snipping tool. The snipping tool can be located down at the bottom toolbar on Windows 10. This is not a feature of Chromebook, so you will not find it on a Chromebook. Um, but Windows 10, if you go onto your bottom bar, you can search for snipping, and it'll pop right up. And here's the snipping tool app. All you have to do is open that app and it will give you this little window. Anyway, so the snipping tool basically works like a pair of scissors and it snips out any part of the screen and turns it into a picture. So for example, I'm gonna click the new button right here on my basic Google screen and I can snip out the Google logo. Just draw my box around it and let my mouse go and it turns it into a picture. Now from here I can copy and paste it using this little copy button or I can save it, I can save the snip, or you can save as, which is my friend. I love the save as feature. Because just in case you need to change it from a GIF to a JPEG or a PNG. So it automatically is set to JPEGs, and I just quickly change the name and say Google logo. And I hit save. And there I have my Google logo saved. Now, this works great when you're searching for images of uh, various things like a warthog. We can find a nice picture of a warthog, click on it and use that snipping tool, go back to the snipping tool. And on our Google picture, all you have to do is hit the new button to, to take another snip. We've already saved our Google logo. So we're gonna take a new snip, and this time we're going to snip out that cute little warthog. And carefully draw your box. Try not to get that background in it. And let your mouse go. Now you can also write on a snip before you save it. So you can use that, that pencil tool right here to write the word warthog. It's a little difficult. Don't judge me. My, my penmanship is much better than this in person. But you can write whatever you want on there and then save that picture too. So file, save as, warthog. Now, you can also take this skill to Google and make a new doc. Go back on your warthog picture and copy it this time. This time we're going to copy it and go to your document and paste it in. And there's my warthog picture with my writing on it. You can also go to a new slide. And you can paste that warthog in. You can insert image, upload from the computer. And I can find my original Google. I think it puts it in pictures folder. It's a very strange, it's it's different on every computer I use. There's my Google logo. So just double click it. And there's my Google logo. I can throw that right into a um, slideshow. I can go back to Google Images and search for a map of Europe and find one that I really like. Maybe one that can be colored in. Uh, one with a little higher quality. There, that one's a good high quality. Go back to my snipping tool. Take a new snip of my map of Europe. This time I want to make sure, try not to get that little X button in there. But I still want to include Iceland. make my snip of the map of Europe and copy and paste that in. And this is a very useful feature. So if I wanted to, I could write things on that snip before I put that map in. I can draw an arrow in or I can circle the things I want the kids to focus on. I can circle Ireland. I can circle Portugal or I could even um, do a little star over the capitals that I want them to focus on. So it's a really handy, quick little feature. 
and then I can copy that, get rid of my old map, and paste in the new one with my annotations, and I'm good to go. So this is a very useful feature. I uh, hope you enjoy this one, and we'll see you next time.